A long, long time ago, in ancient times, a shaman lived not far from here. Legend has it he had the powers to heal. It was also the site of where an ancient battle took place between the shaman and the creator, one of the ancient space travelers who visited this planet to create the humans and populate the earth while enslaving them to mine for gold. Unfortunately, the shaman lost the battle and it became known that he was turned into stone. Hey everybody, welcome back to another video. Well, today we're exploring a mine from the late 1800s. Uh, it's got four attics. We found two so far. So let's get our gear on and go explore this old mine. All right. This is uh, attic number one of four. And right away, this is a small one. Uh, in total, there's a little over 700 feet of cross cutting and drifting, uh, two shafts, and um, they go down about 200 feet. I'm sure when the water levels uh, go up in the lake, um, these are probably completely flooded. Um, but that is it for at it number one of this mine Make sure I'm not walking on but, oh there's a frog another mine frog but uh, there's some diamond drilling uh, where they're doing sampling and that's it so uh, let's go out and uh, go explore at it number two. It's a very humid day today. Uh, we actually have a little bit of rain, which is good for all the forest fires everywhere. Unfortunately, the portal at Adit uh, number two has got a lot of the debris that's probably washed up. Uh, that almost looks like part of a camper. Yeah. It's a camper yeah. But uh, there's at it number two. Uh, stoped out section right at the beginning. Uh, the, the portal is very uh, photogenic. But uh, let's get on inside. I think that one is not much bigger. From the reports, I thought one and two, one of those ones was uh, the one that had the shaft, but it's probably number three, or it's been completely caved in from the running water. This is maybe only 25 feet. So at its uh, three and four, definitely gonna be the larger ones. Weird looking cobweb over there. Uh, someone had some candles in here. Kind of looks like maybe that's so. <laughs> you probably saw all this stuff. There are supposed to be sight or uh, signs of pyrite. And um, if you guys can see that, I'll zoom in. You're probably thinking they're striking it rich here. So this one has tea light candles too, Cheyenne. That's so funny. Yeah. That's a cheap oxygen uh, monitor. But that's it. A little bit of calci calcification on the wall. And you can see the vein, very tiny and kind of sporadic. But uh, 
the earliest reports were from I think 1866 or 1896 or 97 and uh, they're not so sure if this mine was actually older than that um, but it's definitely old oh there's another no uh, in 97 right at the turn of the century there's another mine frog some of the mineralization in here in here it's a beautiful view on the looking out the portal of the water camera's probably not picking that up right now but uh well let's head up the uh, mountain a little bit and see if we can find at its three and four Definitely a beautiful spot. This land was first home to several First Nation settlements. Along the cliffs, one can find the painting of a man in red ochre. It's said to be the medicine man, who once controlled the weather in the area. As the story goes, Native Americans would offer food tossing it into the waters as a tribute, in hopes to have safe waters for traveling. Today, when passing, one ensures good weather by tossing a coin or something of value into Harrison Lake. Since then, the area became vacant until the late 1600s when a Spanish exploration ship came sailing up the waters and were carrying out secret mining operations along the shores and the hills. After the Spanish left and headed for Kiermios, it wasn't until the late 1800s that Harrison experienced a miniature gold rush and the area soon became home to several small gold mining operations over the last hundred years, but with little success. Alrighty, a uh, quick hike up the hill and we found the shaft. Supposedly the shaft goes down about 200 feet. Um, Oh wow, have you seen it over on this side? It's um, beautiful, they've uh, uh, used stone. Um, you see that, how perfectly square that is? Okay. Yeah, it's really pretty. Uh, there's no point in going down there because, well, you can see it, that's just water. Uh, that'd be crazy if it was 200 feet, because um, that would be deep. But, uh, Someone has left a rope here, um, but that that is like really neat scene. That looks really, really impressive. Um, this is their tailings dump here. So they were just hauling the material up and then just dumping it on the top of the uh, hill here. So another little pocket here that maybe they were going to go this way, but didn't turn out very good results. It looks like it goes down a little bit deeper. You can kind of see behind all the roots and stuff like that, but definitely not. Be careful, you. But anyways, guys, uh, we're gonna head up to uh, levels three and four. Three looks like it's the biggest at it. Um, but uh, it's, again, it's crazy that this is just so open like this. No fencing at all, and but uh, anyways, guys, there looks like there's a little bit of a trail over this way. So BC is experiencing some devastating um, wildfires. I think there's over 250 um, burning actively. Um, about a month ago, we lost an entire town, Lytton, BC. To a fire and today we're experiencing just the slightest little bit of rain um, which is what we need we need more than the slightest little bit that's for sure um, later on at the end of the week we are supposed to be 
uh, getting about three days of rain, so hopefully it's a little bit heavier than this drizzle that we're getting. But I think this is possibly number three or four. We got two side by side here yet. Alrighty guys, well here's at it, I uh, have to refer the maps, but I think this is three, right over here, and that is four. Um, another dry one. Oh my god, that is so tiny, I don't even need the flashlight really for that one. So three, this is definitely, um, it would make sense because... They only said I think they pulled maybe a hundred. Like I can't. Even, I'd have to look at the. Cheyenne will put up uh, how much material they pulled, but that's a tiny one. So this is four because four is the smallest. A uh, little bit of a pocketed out section here, but that's it. Oh, this one goes in a little bit. Even a little mini collapse all right I don't know if this goes very far but just turn around and show you guys the portal entrance very loose looking rock can hear the vibrations in my voice a little bit. Here's Cheyenne. Right, turning back around. <laughs> it's kind of funny that somebody painted an arrow in here. That way. little pocket here kind of looks like you can see some pyrite and they did say that in the report but very minimal another little pocket here we actually see some timbers <laughs> and that's it Oh, this might go somewhere. No. Oh yeah, maybe, no, no, maybe. That's just another little pocket there. More calcite hanging off the back. This definitely doesn't seem accurate to what the reports were saying. And some more candles, pop can, and that's it. That is it. surveying tape huh well this was definitely a short and sweet mine explorer but they're all not going to be big see a little bit of the vein there very tiny. Well, with this one being so old, I wonder if it was hand picked.
Kind of looks like a newer timber there. But uh, that's it, guys. Oh, yeah, wow. Kind of looks like those white, almost like garden rocks, eh? Mm -hmm. Those ones that are super zoom in there. So we can Usually calcite's not that sparkly, so it is kind of... Did you look in that pocket there, yeah. the sparkles? Yeah. I see that piercing right there. Mm-hmm. Very good. Can see the camera's not picking it up. But that's definitely like it's just glittering. Almost like a almost looks like a diamond. Almost. Let's see if I can get that on camera. No. Oh, there's tons of it, eh? Mm -hmm. oh, there you go. I can see it there. Camera's not focusing to the right lighting there. There you guys go. I know that's not going to be doing justice on film. But uh, that is pretty neat looking rock. All right, guys, we're just going to head on out and we'll see you outside. Oh, yeah. See here? Uh huh. It's really neat. Shane's foot almost looks like scales. Right there. Well, guys, that's our video. Uh, quick and short mine exploration. Uh, but either way, we thank you guys for joining us. Uh, if you haven't subscribed yet, consider subscribing. Uh, it really helps out our channel. Uh, don't forget to give a uh, thumbs up. And if you like this video, uh, give it a share to your friends. Uh, it would really help our channel grow. So until next time, guys, take care of yourselves. Have a great week, and we'll see you in the next video. We just wanted to say a special thank you to all of our new subscribers that have joined us recently. Uh, the last few videos is not our typical type of content, but we hope you guys decide to hang around and join us on our adventures. To everyone that's been here since the beginning, uh, thank you so much everyone. And until next time guys, take care, stay safe, and we'll see you in the next video.